O'Sullivan warming his hands on a cup of coffee. Okay, well. Frame three. Capacity crowd Ronnie to watch O'Sullivan this final. Tonight. Crowds have been excellent all week, and not just for O'Sullivan's matches. Sullivan hasn't left the half ball red to right corner. Trips the brown smack on the nose, which was why the cue ball didn't reach the ball cushion and make this a much better safety. <coughs> well, I don't know whether the chime put O'Sullivan off, but I think he had time to stop and uh, readdress the cue ball. Announcement, I think, being made because the Wasps are playing here today, the rugby, and uh, it's just making its way into the arena. Those announcements, those chimes. <laughs> just give me one second. Is it, Can you uh, just check that door? In the, the Rico door is obviously the not just a snooker there. going on here, Clive. They play football here and rugby here and all kinds of stuff. Well, O'Sullivan took it all in good part anyway. <laughs> Irritating, though. I know, I know. <laughs> nice if you give us five minutes, won't it? Well, announcer stops play. Six. Well, he can play for the red to the left of the pink if the black is straight enough. If it's not quite straight enough, he can open the bunch. If he wants to go open the bunch from the black or screw back for the blue. 13. Oh, again, 14. he's not hit that right. He might have an angle to come in and out of bulk and do it, but there's no way what he meant. Middle of left hand running side here at pace.
No good. No, the shot before wasn't good enough. He's going to have to brush up on... 90. His touch. You know, it was imperative he was top side of the blue to get into the bunch there. But I'm sure he is aware that that... Kyron Wilson, 90. For all his, his willing and the way he cues, he shouldn't have been there trying to open the bunch. And chances do not come along all the time against Ronnie O'Sullivan. Sullivan unable to put Wilson under any pressure with that safety. Let's see how it gets back to bulk here. Picking the black quite wide target. He doesn't want to hit on the way through. And they were there. He almost ignored the fact that they were there. That was not an easy safety shot he was trying. Wilson normally very good with the rest, but uh, not that time. Uh, it's one of the first I've seen him miss. And it was difficult, I admit. He got absolutely nowhere near it, actually. Five. Six. Well, he's going to have to try and win the frame without the use of the black. I don't see him getting that into the game any time soon. Nineteen. Twenty. 
26. Twenty-seven. Well, are those two reds both available? He uh, made a calculated risk there to play on this one with the rest. He doesn't use it all that often these days. The fact that he plays left-handed on shots. Thirty-four. I think that maybe he's just settling into the match. He was a little edgy at the beginning, I thought, even in that second frame. Forty. Sometimes you can feed on one or two errors by your opponent. And Karen has had a couple of chances already this frame. Just really one. Taken advantage of. Just gone a bit far here. Wonderful asset to have, though, isn't it? That left-handed shot that he plays. He doesn't just play you know, easy shots. And that was a good little shot to play if you were a left-hander. Forty-eight. O'Sullivan once won a Premier League semi-final against Peter Ebden, playing every shot left-handed. Nice cannon too. He's taken these well, as I say. Aaron Wilson will need to up his game here because the is just warming to the task. 35 the difference. Two reds. Well, one now that he's probably that one. Should be enough. Quietly, methodically, O'Sullivan has worked himself into a position where he just needs a red and colour to clinch the frame. 61. Now, where's his colour coming? Well, that's a big disappointment to him because all of that room he had. Goodness, he's looking at the blue. That's a, sh a risk that he doesn't need to take. <laughs> Terrific shot, though. Well, what made that an especially good shot was the mess that he made with the previous one. That he wouldn't have been human. He hadn't thought, I should have won the frame by now. Sixty-seven, and the possibility of a century emerges. Yes, and it's been a kind of break where he's had to think quite a few of the shots through. As I said, like never available. Sixty-nine. If O'Sullivan could make the century, it would be his ninth of the tournament. 74. And it 76. Would be one more small step towards a thousand centuries. 79. He stands on 965 at the start of play today.
83. Eighty-eight, ninety-four. Very unusual to be in this position for a century. Yeah. Oh. Well, no century. But the ninety-four break secures O'Sullivan a two-one lead.